Welcome to the Windows Club. If you encounter the error 0xc1900130130 while trying to update Windows on Windows 10, then please either read through this article on the Windows Club, the link has been shared in the description section, or simply watch this video, we will guide you through the procedures. The first two solutions would be to clear the software distribution folder and the catalog 2 folder and this is something that has been explained over other articles and videos so you can check them, the links are here. But before you clear the contents of these folders or reset them, you would have to stop the services related to Microsoft Windows updates and then you would have to restart them again. This has been explained in the third solution to configure the Windows update related services and their status is right. I'll copy this and then I'll go to the elevated command prompt window. I'll search for command prompt in the Windows search bar. Click on run as administrator and this will direct you to the elevated command prompt window. Now copy and paste the commands here and hit enter. Once you get this success message, this means that the Windows update related services are on. If this doesn't work, then go straight to the fifth solution, which is to run the Windows update troubleshooter. Click on the start button, select settings, scroll down to update and security, go to the troubleshoot tab, click on additional troubleshooters, click on windows update and select run the troubleshooter to run the windows update troubleshooter. Once this is done and if this does not work either, then you can consider flushing the DNS cache. Basically, you have to go to the same command prompt window and type the command mentioned in this flush DNS cache article that is here. I'll scroll down and show it for you. It is ipconfig paste forward slash flush DNS. I'll paste it here. Hit enter. Successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. And lastly, if all of that fails, then the only option you would have is to download the updates manually and install them. Isn't this interesting by the way? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the Windows Club, scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.